In this video, we are going to learn angles and how they are formed, and also congruence. Lines and portions of lines intersect to form angles. As we see here, we have ray 1 and ray 2, they intersect in vertex V. This is the vertex of the angle formed by the two rays. An angle is a pair of rays that have a common end point. This end point is called the vertex of the angle. We can either name the angle by the vertex A, so we can say angle A, or we can say we can name it by two points on both sides and the A is in the middle also because this is the vertex, so we can say DAB or DAC or CAD or BAD. An angle divides a plane into three distinct parts. Points that lie on the angle, points that lie interior to the angle, and points lie exterior of the angle. Congruent angles. Congruent angles are angles that have the same measure. So we symbolize it by this congruence symbol. Angle bisectors. A ray or segment that divides an angle into two congruent parts is an angle bisector. In this figure, TR bisects angle QTS. So this means that measure of angle QTR equals measure of angle STR. Here is an example. In the figure, BA and BC are opposite rays and BD bisects angle ABE. If measure of angle ABD equals 4x plus 14 degrees and measure of angle DBE equals 8x minus 32 degrees, find measure of angle DBE. So in order to find DBE, we first have to find out what is x. We're going to do this equation and solve for x in this equation. 4x plus 14 equals 8x minus 32 and we solve it algebraically to find x. Then step number three, we're going to substitute x inside measure of angle dBA. So we're going to multiply eight times the value of x minus 32. We have some special angle pairs. The first angle pair is called adjacent angles. Adjacent angles have a common side and a common vertex. Like in this example, ABD and DBC are two angles that are adjacent because they have a common vertex B and a common side BD. In this diagram, we can see the difference between adjacent angles and non-adjacent angles. Non-adjacent angles has no common side and no common vertex, but adjacent angles have a common side and common vertex. Another special angle pair is linear pair. Linear pairs of angles make 180 degrees if we sum them. Linear pairs are adjacent angles that add up to 180 degrees. The third type of special angle pairs are vertical angles. Vertical angles are two angles that are opposite to each other and they are congruent. Let's look at this example. The office lamp is made using two intersecting metal bars. How many pairs of adjacent angles do you see in the figure? List two pairs. Okay, we can say that angle EBC and angle EBA are two adjacent angles. Also angle ABD and DBC are two adjacent angles as well. Now identify two pairs of vertical angles in the figure. Vertical angles are opposite angles and they are congruent. They have the same measure. I can name two vertical angles that are ABC and ABD. Also another pair is CBD and EBA.